Turns out one person's trash is not another's treasure. Homeowners and renters living along Calhoun Street and East LaGrande Avenue tell CBS4 they are fed up with the illegal dumping that keeps happening along this alley. I believe there's a landlord, I believe, that owns these houses. And when he cleans them out, when tenants move out, then the stuff gets dumped right here. Lee Epperson was the only person willing to go on camera. The rest of the neighbors too scared of retribution. I mean, you can see stuff that's scattered all over the yard. Epperson said whoever owns these two houses right here also owns several hundred other properties citywide. He believes they are the ones responsible for this. There is everything in this massive pile. Pizza boxes, kids toys, even entire bedroom sets. It's disgusting. Turns out homeowners have called the city and the county about this disgusting dumping issue before. This to me is outrageous. Records show at least three trash violations, the most recent in May 2018. In that case and several other tall weed cases, it appears as though the property owner paid the city hundreds of dollars to make the problem disappear. The health department went out over the summer and cleaned up the yards, but Everson says the illegal dumping continued. It made no difference and actually got worse. Rodents started running around. Trash is now flying into Epperson's backyard as well. We try to have some pride in our property, but then you have somebody that doesn't care about anybody and you're faced with this. So the CBS4 problem solvers got involved. Between the city's business and neighborhood services, Marion County, city county counselor Frank Mascari, and the alleged property owner's lawyer, this issue is now being taken care of. Crews cleaned up the trash. The city is now considering installing surveillance cameras to prevent this from happening again. And we're told someone should be renting that property as of March 1st. The contractor's resident agent not happy about the situation and promising CBS4 they are going to address this with their workers immediately. That's all because of Channel 4. I don't think I could have got anybody else to respond that fast.